ain't got a gun. The next clear thing that happened is that Ike Clanton ran up to Wyatt and grabbed his arm. The fight's commenced. Now get the fight or get away. That's when Ike took off running, like the coward he was. Wyatt's reaction was, you know, this fight's commenced. Get the fight or get away. So in other words, he didn't shoot him. In, in, in all that chaos, it would have been so easy to think about that. Think about if that happened to you right now. That gun might that gun would be emptied so quick in the air and on the ground, probably in my lap. Who knows? Because like, man, it's whoa, 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 bam, bam, bam. This is what's going on. Get away. Wyatt had the wherewithal to not just not shoot him, but to but to respond to him in a gentlemanly way. <laughs> That's what I call manly. <laughs> There were 30 witnesses, roughly, to the gunfight, and there are about 30 different versions of what happened. All we can really go by is the wounds. <laughs> Virgil Earp was hit in the calf. Morgan Earp was hit through the shoulder blades, knocked both of them down. Billy Clanton was hit in the gut and the wrist. And Tom McClary was hit by Doc Holliday's shotgun. Doc jerked his pistol and began firing at Tom as Tom ran down the street in what turned out to be a headless chicken lunge. And Tom got to the corner and basically fell over and died. I got you now, Holliday. He's away. Go a daisy if you do. Shot through. Doc got a little bit of a graze on the hip from, from Frank's shot. Causing Doc to think he'd been shot right through. Morgan puts one into Frank's temple right there. So that did for Frank. And then it was over. It's a smoky, bloody mess. Billy Clanton, Frank McClowry, Tom McClowry are lying in the street, dead or dying. Virgil Earp shot through the leg. Morgan Earp is shot through the shoulders and badly injured. Doc Holliday is grazed. Who's left standing without a scratch with bullet holes in his clothing? Wyatt Earp, our hero. It became sort of a story that Wyatt Earp couldn't be touched by bullets. It seemed like he almost had a magical way about him. He's the only guy that didn't move. One woman's account was, was, was absolutely specific. She said there was that tall man in, dressed in black, standing, just standing stock still. And he saw that man across from him start to, start to move. And he said he just shot him dead. She said, but what's interesting about him was he never moved. And I always remembered that. Think about it, if it's just chaos, the minute you see something move, you're gonna shoot it. But that thing that doesn't move becomes invisible. So if you're ever in a gunfight with a bunch of people, I recommend you don't move. 